Hey, good evening. It's Sunday evening on the fifth Sunday of Easter. And I want to talk to you this evening a little bit about promises. You know, Jesus comes and speaks his word to us. Uh, and he speaks his word to us in the church. But he doesn't come to give us a list of things to do. He doesn't give us uh, commands. He doesn't say, you need to do this in order to get better. No, instead, Jesus comes to us and he gives us a promise. We call it the gospel. And when he gives us a promise, he says, I am with you. I will not let you go. Your sins are forgiven. I've got you all the way and forever. And that promise that he gives to us, he gives to his church. And he says to us, go and preach that gospel. Go and preach those promises in the church. Do, do it at the pulpit, at the baptismal font, at the Holy Communion altar. And do it and give my promises to my people. And so in the church then, when the promises are preached and given, that's where the third person of the Holy Trinity, the Holy Spirit, is at work. The Holy Spirit, we, we talk about in the church, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is at work through those promises preached and spoken of in the church. And those promises ring out from the church, like a church bell. And they call everyone. They gather the, those promises of our, of our Lord Jesus that are preached in the church, that are given in the church. Call and gather people from all over come and hear this good news of Jesus that gives us life and salvation and hope and that these promises say to us that he is the way the truth and the life and so that's why we go to the church to hear those promises to have them in our ears to have those promises poured over us in holy baptism and to have those promises put upon our tongues in the Lord's Supper and we're waiting for the church bells here to ring it's going to be very shortly. And those promises of our Lord Jesus are just like that church bell, calling and gathering us in, gathering us in to be his people, people in, who live in his promises people who rest in his promises. So why don't we say a word of prayer and I'll give you the blessing. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your promises that ring out from your church and give us hope. Bless these children of our church, bless their families, and bless all of our families and our congregation. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. God bless you and I'll see you next week.